All right, hear me out. Having a belief system is great, but if it's taken too far, it can be detrimental and dangerous to the people around you. What's going on everybody? My name is Cody Curtis, and if this is your first time stopping by the channel, I just want to give a big thank you to you. And with M. Night Shyamalan's newest film, Glass, just around the corner, it seems only fitting to not only analyze one of his most surprising films, that film being Split, but analyzing Kevin Wendell Crumb and the 24 personalities inside him. But before we move any further on with this video, I should let you know that this video along with every other video on this channel is partnered with Sandwich John Films. Now if you don't know what Sandwich John Films is, it's the prime website where you can have the possibility of winning free movie screenings to movies like Glass, and that means seeing movies before anybody else does. And so if that sounds great to you, or you're at least mildly curious about it, there's a link in the description for you to go check that out. Now back to the analysis. Split is a really curious movie. If we look at the character of Kevin Wendell Crumb and all of the 24 personalities inside him, there's something that drives them throughout the entire course of the film. Or at least three of the personalities, these personalities being Patricia, Hedwig, and Dennis. And that is their belief in a higher being, their belief in a deity of sorts, this deity being, being the beast. Now before I continue on, I want to issue a spoiler warning for any of you who have not seen Split, because I'm going to be going into a few spoilers, so if you want to see Split and you haven't yet, tune this video out and come back so we can have a great conversation. Now for those of you who are still around, as we all know when it comes to Split, the Beast eventually comes out, and the Beast is what I like to consider a culmination of all of these these personalities or these traits of Kevin Wendell Crumb, the best traits coming together to produce something truly magnificent, truly terrifying, and just overall scarier than anything you can possibly imagine. But at the same time, this beast is the best version of Kevin, in essence. It's a representation of the best version of Kevin. If we take any belief, a belief in science, a belief in yourself, a belief in religion or God or, or what have you, there are certain aspects of all of these that when you get down to it will eventually make the best version of yourself. Let's say when it comes to science that you make an incredibly new discovery, it gives you a lot of money or you just get more fulfillment out of anything else in life. And then take religion. Let's say you feel that by the end of your life, you have reached your divine potential, your holy potential, and you think that you'll be able to meet and sit down and talk with God, so to speak. And when it comes to believing in yourself, let's say you accomplish that goal that you've set up for yourself and you become the best version of yourself. This is all great, and I feel as though the Beast in Split is the same representation as those examples, because Kevin Wendell Crumb, Dennis, Patricia, and Hedwig are all personalities found inside him, and they are trying to group every other personality together so they can bring this divine being, this beast out, so they can purify the world of those who have not been scarred, of those who have not been tortured or hurt or maimed in any kind of way. And unfortunately, because of that goal that the beast has along with all of these other personalities this does bring about a sadness a very deep sadness that we can all have when we feel we have reached our full potential because if no matter what our goals are there is a possibility that once we reach what we consider to be our full potential we could hurt people we could leave friends behind we could end relationships we could end working relationships we could say goodbye and kill old parts of ourselves and that could end up damaging the people around us and it's a really sad thing but it's what it is now if we take a look at the end of split when hedwig patricia and dennis look at their new body look at the body that the beast has given them they notice and are impressed by it but they also realize at this same time that this new form will allow them to do more than they ever could 
before and they set a new goal for what they're trying to do and i think that's very important for us to realize is that although we think we have a goal in mind of what our true artistic religious spiritual potential will be that doesn't necessarily mean it's the end it's very important for goal setting here because let's say we reach our metaphorical beast our metaphorical beast mode where we achieve that thing that we've always wanted be it spiritual scientific or just a goal that we've set for ourselves it's then our responsibility to set a new goal and reach an even higher form of being and by that i mean reaching making a challenge for yourself so you can achieve even more in this life and impact more people but then again there is also a danger in that because that also means that there's a possibility that even more people will be left behind because of your choices because of the things you decide to do even though they may impact you and some of your family members in a really positive and uplifting way you will not be able to please everybody and i think that's important to realize and i don't know if many people realize that about the beast or split after they walked out of it but that's certainly what i got out of it the past few times that i've watched it and at the end of the day that is my analysis for split so my last word for this analysis is to the next time that you watch the film notice notice kevin wendell crumb's transition and transformation from the beginning to the end and see if there's something in there that you can apply into your own life you don't necessarily have to become a mad hungry power hungry beast who attacks and hurts people no that's not a good idea at all but see if you can take those principles of finding a goal reaching your own beast mode and then making a new goal and pushing forward so you can be even better than you were when you achieved your first goal and that everybody is my analysis of M. Night Shyamalan's film, Split, and more specifically, Kevin Wendell Crumb within Split. And as always with every single one of these analysis, if you've seen Split, I want to know your thoughts on it. Ha do you have any thoughts that you'd like to present in the comment section down below? What were you able to get from this film? Metaphorical? Literal? Whatever your thoughts are, put them down in the comment section down below. And if this is your first time stopping by the channel, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing so you can be aware when more of these analysis and more movies reviews will be up on the channel. And thank you so much for showing up. And as always, make sure that you stay curious, keep your mind mentally tough by learning about the movies that you love, and I hope you all have a phenomenal rest of your day.